Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Um, got a special uh, delivery today. I actually found uh, this cheaper than it's usually priced um, off of uh, Hasbro Google. So if you go into Google, or yeah, if you go into Google and you just type in Google Shopping, it'll come up with a link for Google Shopping, and you can find stuff in there. I didn't even know that. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. And this is a big package, as you can see, because it doesn't even fit in the frame. <laughs> I think you guys may know what this is. Because I believe I teased it a couple days ago. And at first I wasn't going to buy this, but I did want to see what the, uh, I didn't want to see what, um, mine potential it had and stuff like that. But this is the Nerf Mega XL Boom Dozer. Um, there we go, that's the front. So, as you can see, um, it's pretty big. I actually thought it would be a little bit bigger because from what I saw on um, everybody else's channel it looked like it was like you know this big um, but yeah actual dart size that's that's pretty big um, uh, so when I bought this I think the day after I purchased the um, this uh, like shotgun cylinder from uh, Luke from out of darts which hopefully will be coming Friday so I'll go over this blast again with that in there and uh, how to put it in and stuff um, but let's go ahead and get into this. This looks very interesting. And let's see here. Alright. Some excess cardboard, which is always fun. Well, I wasn't wrong. <laughs> it is huge. But what's funny is, it doesn't even look like it fits in there. <laughs> uh, there's a dart, I believe, and I think that's it in there. Right. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna snip this guy. Uh, let's use these. So it's pretty cool in the sense that you can load them on this side. Um, it's not, oh wait, is it? Oh yeah, it's ambidextrous like that, so yeah. Um, I haven't seen anybody take out the ARs yet, or the um, posts, because the posts in here are huge. I don't know if you can see that, but they are, they are pretty beefy. I don't know if I want to do that yet, just because this was um, a blaster like that. Um, I watched um, Dr. Flux's video on this, and I love the paint job that he did to his. It's like a like a caution thing because it's huge. Um, yeah, let's get into the darts here. Oh boy. And they're big. So almost as big as my hand. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's a big boy. There's six of them in here, of course, with the instructions. I mean, I know how to load it and stuff, but it's just nice to see the instructions. There we go. Eight, eight plus, really? Well, yeah, because you got to be big enough to hold it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Just like we thought. Okay, cool. Um, honestly, the size comparison compared to Mega, Elite, and Short. So give me one second. Uh, let's see here. And we'll might as well throw in a, a missile for comparison as well, just because. Uh, oh, short sure, card. Do I have one up here? No. Okay. We go grab one right here. I just moved stuff in my garage and now I don't know where stuff is. <laughs> go figure. Uh, One. Okay, so here's a short dark compare. Oh my god, <laughs> that's funny. You can actually probably fit a couple in there <laughs> just for storage. Um, okay, here's the missile. So it almost almost looks like the same diameter. I think actually the missile is a little bit smaller. It looks like it's a little bit smaller. Yeah, but. So, if I were in an HVZ or something, I would uh, say basically these are both in the same class, just because of how how big they are. Um, plus, these might be easier to store. Uh, here's the Mega, regular Mega. Yep, you fit that in there, just like that. <laughs> and then regular Elite. Yep. And let's do what everybody does. Put the Mega in there. Put the Elite in there. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't get a. I can't get a short dart in there. But yeah, so that's the size comparison all together. Um, all right. Let me see how it feels first before I start loading it up. Yeah, it's not bad. It's actually uh, lighter than I thought it'd be, which is really good. Um, the grip is big, so. It's Pretty comfortable. Um, has a uh, uh, you know uh, end strike uh, railing up here for a scope or something, and then um, a stock a Nerf uh, stock point, which with this thing I don't think you really need. And I don't even think you need like this giant um, um, muzzle. I would have I would I would have stopped it at like this line right here. That would have been fine because it's still orange, you know, orange everywhere. That would have been fine. I mean, I know what they're going for with the aesthetic, like it's breaking through concrete or something. Um, yeah, if there's a way to remove that. I know that there is some solvent weld uh, somewhere in here that holds this, you know, holds the barrel on. And I believe there's a little bit back here underneath. So you just gotta be careful if you do take it apart. Um, yeah, and I'll have to look up um, Luke's video of how to actually put the cylinder in here because I'll probably have to open this whole thing up. Yeah, most likely you're going to have to open up this whole thing and do it that way. Um, hopefully they have a smaller cylinder or just a, uh, um, not cylinder, barrel. Or they just have like a barrel delete so you can just take this off, put a cap on it and be done. Um, the stock, probably not going to use just because, I mean... Is, this is basically like a, um, I don't know, like a, a grenade launcher. When I when I saw this, I thought of the um, Fortnite one, which is, I guess you 
you know, has a rotating uh, barrel and it's the, the, it had like little to no uh, stock and then um, the way that you fired it was just pulled the, um, this, uh, the priming bar back really hard because it's just air pressure. This is like a better version of that just because you can cock it and then shoot it. Um, so that's why I waited for this one over that one. I, at first I was like, oh, I want to buy that one. But when I saw what it actually did, what it functioned off of, I was like, nah. <laughs> Because you can do that, like, I, it's the same experience as the um, modulus missile launcher uh, stock thing, and I'm not too keen on that. Um, I'd rather have something that shoots a missile, um, you know, you can charge it and then fire. Um, you know, I don't want to have to strain my arm hard enough so it shoots further or whatever. Um, but yeah, enough talking. Let's uh, load up and go to the range. All right, here we are at the... Uh range. <laughs> I got the uh, Mega XL here. I'll uh, load it up in the chamber for you. Uh, let's do some test firing. Alright. Um, no complaints about that. Um, I haven't tried the slam fire yet. Ooh, I should try that. Um, but it does work fine. Um, uh, I'm basically at an even level with the target there. Um, I like that they whistle, because <laughs> it doesn't love a whistling missile. Um, but yeah, the only thing I would change is the cylinder, which I'm getting, and then, uh, that giant, uh, muzzle up front. Um, it is a big blaster to carry, um, especially... Um, for I guess a shield breaker or uh, I guess a primary or whatever. Um, I noticed one thing though, there are no sling points on this, which would have been really helpful. <laughs> um, especially if you're expecting somebody to put um, a stock on this thing, you know, but I mean, I'm sure there's an accessory or something out there. I probably have one, I just don't know it. Um, but I can put a sling on top somehow. Um, yeah, that would probably be my only complaint. No, no, uh, no sling points. Um, yeah, I'm real interested to see how this fires um, with the cylinder with like regular and short darts. And then um, I'm, I'm also curious as to um, find out how um, the Mega XL darts shoot out of like, um, I don't know, some sort of modified single shot weapon, you know, with, uh, maybe PVC or fitted tubing so it can shoot out of that. Um, yeah, um, I may be able to come up with something by Friday when the cylinder is supposed to be here so I can compare the both. Um, yeah, maybe I'll try to shoot out of the, uh, uh, Dart Zone Striker or Nexus Pro. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I'll do a little bit more testing, but um, overall, yeah, this is a solid blaster. I like it. Um, I didn't think I'd like it this much, but yeah, it's cool. Um, the other one, the big rig, I don't, th th well, hmm. I don't know. I may buy it, I may not, I don't know. Um, just because the only thing that I see that I could do with it is like uh, what Flux did is make it a, um, uh, uh, what do they call it? It's what we used to do with the uh, Mega Magnus. Um, um, oh God, words escaping me. Um, but you know, basically attach it, um, saw, saw, saw the ammo capacity part down, and then uh, either epoxy it or somehow um, put it onto the bottom of any other blaster, like, you know, uh, Strife, Retaliate, or whatever. And you could use it as a, um, you know, like a, like a giant shield breaker um, accessory. Um, that's why the only thing why I would buy that, other than that, it's just a pistol that shoots one at a time. So it's basically a single shot um, Mega XL blaster for like, was it twenty dollars or twenty five dollars or something like that. So mm, you know, we'll we'll see how the how this guy does. If it does well enough, 
I might buy that, I don't know. Um, let me know if you guys think I should buy it or not. Um, the one that I kind of want to get is the one that's like, you know, not out yet, the real expensive one, but I kind of want to pay that outrageous price as well. <laughs> um, because if it's basically like this, but with uh, a stock, it's like, why? Like, I bought uh, the Ultra Amp, and then the, I don't know what the new one's called, but the basically the Ultra Amp with the stock came out. I'm like, okay, that was dumb. <laughs> like, you should have released that and say, hey, if you want it cheaper, we'll, we won't include the stock, <laughs> and you can have it that way for a little bit less. That would have made more sense. Um, because if I knew that was coming, I would have waited. Um, or sell or sell the stock separate. I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I'll link this down below in the, the Google shopping that I found it at. I believe it was, it was $40, which is much better than 60 you know. Um, so yeah, highly recommend it. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Um, Please like, share, and follow, and uh, the Boom Dozer will see you most likely on Friday. Um, so yeah, uh, see you guys later. Bye.